everybody, and welcome to Coatsy's Corner. As we do, as we move around the National Hockey League, we always like to visit former Philadelphia Flyers with me, former defenseman Brad Marsh. 214 games, uh, 514 games, rather, as a Philadelphia Flyer, 1981 through 88, and obviously some great times for you in your career. Most definitely. I loved every minute of being a Flyer. It was, uh, it really uh, woke me up. I came from Atlanta, then we went to Calgary, and then I was traded from El Bridgman, and uh, I was in the NHL, but I often think, and when I speak around and, and give uh, talks to uh, various schools or hockey groups or whatever, I always I was in the NHL, but I didn't come a real didn't become a real player until I became a Flyer, and that's just the mystique that was in the dressing room, the Bobby Clark's, the Pat Grochies, Paul Holmgren, and uh, it was such a good, huge impact on me. Now you moved on. I mean, you played 50 games here for the Ottawa Senators, but. You made Ottawa your home, but you were married to a local girl, Patty Quayle, brought her up here to Canada. How did she take that <laughs> move to Ottawa from her nice home there in South Jersey? Well, our first move from uh, from South Jersey there was to Toronto, Toronto to play with the Leafs. And so that was, uh, uh, I don't know if it was a shock or an eye-opener, not so much to me and Patty, but to the rest of the family that one of them was actually moving outside that little radius, Somerdale, uh, Summerdale, New Jersey, but uh, anyhow, it, it was great to go, to go up and, and be a Leaf, and uh, and then when we ended up here in Ottawa, and it was obvious that my uh, NHL career was over, uh, we had a couple offers to do this and move around and coach in the minors, play in the minors, and or go back to junior and coach, but uh, we decided enough was enough, and uh, let's just hang our hat here, and basically you go where the job is, and Sens offered me a pretty good job, so I stayed here. Well, tell me about your restaurant. I mean, how all of a sudden did you get into the restaurant business? Well, it happened quite by accident. Uh, I don't know, for those of you that followed the trials and tribulations of the Senators, uh, after we became back into the NHL in 92, like we were on, this, on the selling block many times. We were moving here. We were bankrupt here. And the owner didn't have money and actually changed ownerships from the first owner to Mr. Bryden. Then they opened up the, the, the Palladium at that time. Now it's the Carl Center. I shouldn't say it was the Carl Center. Now it's the Scotiabank Place. But they didn't have a tenant for their number one restaurant spot. And, uh, and for whatever reason, uh, Mr. Bryden knocked on my door and asked if I'd like to take a try at it. And I said, okay. And uh, so it's been pretty good. Lockout year was pretty tough. Now, not only for myself, but anybody that's a sports bar owner. It was a tough year up here in Canada. Let's look back to your years with the Flyers. I mean, any great memories while you were there? Well, obviously, 85 and 87. We went to the, to the finals twice. And uh, like I said, I speak around quite a bit. And that's the question, my, the highlight of my NHL career. And unfortunately, they, they both end on a sour note because the highlight was, was getting to the final seventh game of the Stanley Cup Finals in 87, but we lost both times, so I always make the joke, I'm probably the only guy that hates Wayne Gretzky, because uh, he's got two rings at my expense, but uh, no, Philadelphia was uh, uh, was just a great place to play, and uh, I mean, there's a busload of, of Flyer fans up there, they come every year, sometimes twice a year to, to cheer on the team, so I was up just taking a whole bunch of pictures with them, and uh, a lot of new Flyer fans, which is good to see, but there's still a lot of old guard that remember the spectrum and remember the, in my, I guess in my opinion, the good old days. Well, Marcia, I appreciate it. You know, you'll still, in my memory, be the only guy ever in the National Hockey League drive a former Lands and Forest truck. Yeah. I think we won't talk about that. Yeah, well, it got me from A to B. That's exactly and, right. Uh, right. yellow truck. with yeah. the ugly yellow truck. <laughs> Brad Marsh, great to see you. Thank you Thanks very much. much. Okay. Thank you for joining us on Coach's Corner. We'll see you next time.